Hey, it's good to see you. We are back in Dollar Tree in the baby section. And I'm going to make these at multiple Dollar Trees and then put them all together in one video. Because the thing is, there's not much to organize. So each one doesn't take very long. This section is actually, um, it looks, it's a bit bigger than the one where we were before. They don't necessarily have more stuff. They just have more of it. I mean, they don't have a wider variety necessarily. Here's a Baby King. That sounds kind of creepy, Baby King. <laughs> Nursing mall. Where does this go? There's Disney. Baby King is right here. I don't know. This sounds weird. <laughs> Baby King. And a little Cookie Monster bottle. Mickey Mouse. Here's a little Baby King. And an Elmo. Elmo's jacked up. Look at his little... I can't do this. I can't even do it two-handed. I agree, young boy. Dagnabbit. I don't know what to do with this. Quite frankly, I'm just... Oh, shoot. I put it on the wrong one, didn't I? Alright, Elmo. Hang out up here. That looks like hammered crap. Looks like a dog's butt. There we go. Um, oh, look at the cute little rattle with rings. And here's some, a lid to something. I don't know. All right, now down here, well, okay, what's this? Oh, it's the bottom of one of these. Okay, so it's a little snack container. Well, that's, that's cool. Let me see. Who's missing a, a bottom? This one's missing a, well, no, it's not. That's something different that's I don't know I think it's supposed to have plastic on it or something here's a cute little sippy cup oh friends are great isn't that cool I don't know where that came from these have little handles on them that one's missing a lid though sometimes you just you know you can only do so much for these sections because they're just they're hopeless so you, you just try to do what you can and then just leave it at that. These are just an assortment of bottles and some of them have been opened. Oh, these have a little handle. These are cute. These have a handle and then the little, little vampire people. And, nope, that goes there. It's hot in here. I don't know why it's so hot in here. Um, these look like little snack containers for your pets, but they're not. Now, where do these come from? I don't know. I'm just going to slide them over. Oh, Lord, it's like playing Jenga. Look at that mess. And food trays. Oh, my gosh, look at that. And that's quite precarious. There's a Mickey, a Minnie Mouse one back there that one and then we have these forks and spoons I'm just gonna put them there that one I'm just trying to keep them all together and then we have little small sandwich containers oh I remember when my kids used those and the Paw Patrol oh yes this isn't really baby stuff but it's back here so there's another bottle this is another baby king bottle and then they have these little fork and spoon sets up here look at this cute little plate oh that's adorable oh that one's torn that's so cute our little monster and then up there's a whole bunch of bibs let's see what kind of mess we oops somebody has pulled a bunch of them down I guess to look at them Aurorable. And little princess. Put that. There is a non stop conversation over there. They are just chatting away. There's a roarable. That's cute. Oh, look at the little terry cloth bibs. Those are precious. Um, little prince. We'll get up there. And here's a. Um, oh, somebody removed a bib. Rattlesnakes followed me in here. 
What's this? Oh, it's this cool. You can get little fleece baby blankets in here. Isn't that cool? Well, where'd it come from, though? I see a lot of stuff, but I don't see any fleece blankets. They had these in the other Dollar Tree, but I don't... I don't see them, though. I'm just going to lay it down. And I'm going to put that there. Because I don't know. Here we have little travel packs of Pampers baby wipes in a box that wants to come with me. Those are cute. You get 18 pamper sensitive wipes. That's awesome. Somebody put some craft sticks over here. These are, aren't they colorful? Look how nice. Now go here. We're, let's see, we don't have the craft stuff. This is some, no, no, we do. It's down here. here. I know I'm looking right at them. Oh, they're down here. Right there. And pipe cleaners. They don't call them pipe cleaners anymore. It's missing the top piece, so I can't chenille stems, but it's missing the piece to hang it from. Alright, that's not baby stuff. I have little travel kits over here. Those are cute. Okay back over here we have lots of diapers little packs of diapers these are size 4 and they have a size 3 but it looks like somebody's already sampled that one we'll put it in the back and then we have baby lotion and creamy baby oil but I can't get my hand back there to move them unfortunately I can do these though this is the lotion. Disposable little diaper bags, cotton swabs. There. And safety swabs, the big fat Q tips. See, so look at them. <laughs> big boofy cotton swabs. And hand sanitizer goes up there daytime this does not go here this is for grown-ups not little kids I'm gonna stick it over here with the boogie boards is purgatory children's pain relief now that's gonna be just acetaminophen in an oral suspension 160 milligrams per 5 milliliters you have to go on your child's age and weight to determine the dose and it's it includes all that on the on the package Nighttime cold and cough, triacting. That's gonna be like triaminic, children's triaminic. Um, this has diphenhydramine, only 6.25 milligrams per five milliliters. Um, that is 25% uh, of the standard adult dose. And then phenylephrine, 2.5 milligrams. That is also one quarter of the standard adult dose. Okay. The only bad thing is, most of the time when people look for stuff like this, they don't come to the baby aisle to try to find it. And if they look on the OTC aisle, it's not going to be there. Now, this is just diphenhydramine in an oral solution, 12.5 milligrams. That is twice the dose in the triaminic. This is for older kids, ages 6 to 11. And then we have regular baby oil and a random thing of baby shampoo. Petroleum jelly skin protectant. It's hard to reach back there as well. Now here we have petroleum jelly with a scent. Baby soft. It smells like babies. <laughs> okay, and then we have creamy petroleum jelly for dry skin and it says that it absorbs quickly. And hand sanitizer. I think that has aloe or something in it. I don't know. Angel of Mine baby bath. Hard to, it's hard to, I can't reach back there too well. What if we just do, well, no, that's not going to work. Do, um, hmm. And these things fall over so easily too. This is just a gel, baby oil gel. It has a purple fish on it for some reason. 
Oops, baby bath. That's 15 ounces for a dollar. Oh, my kids hated baths. I always I see these commercials with little babies getting baths and they're laughing and smiling. Mine would scream like a banshee the entire time. They hated it. Baby shampoo. Okay. Yeah, you offered that. We have no, creamy baby oil. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I'll get that back there. And then we have the Sesame Street baby lotion. Some of them have a white lid, some of them have a pink, but it appears to be the same thing. The problem with this stuff being on the toy aisle is that everybody and their dang brother keeps coming down this aisle. And they all have kids with them. <laughs> Sucks to be me. <laughs> I have to keep stopping. There's baby oil. It's Elmo oil. I don't like Elmo, so I'm fine with them making oil out of him. And baby wash. I just, I'm sorry, his voice gets on my nerves. This is only 10 ounces, and you could get the, well, that's shampoo, though, but you could wash your kid with it. It's, uh, that's not bad, though, for a dollar. Let's see, baby shampoo, I need to get, Elmo's on all this stuff. He is such an attention hog. He came along and just ruined Sesame Street, in my opinion. I think Elmo is just a symptom of the problem. Sesame Street was way better before they started gear gearing it toward little bitty kids. I just I think it was better. It was originally intended for older kids. Let's see. When it started out, it was geared toward kids getting ready to go into kindergarten. And then they started to target it toward little toddlers, basically. And I don't know, it just changed the whole format of the show. Let's see. Gosh, I can't reach any of that back there. I'll move this for a second. These are little five and a half ounce containers of baby oil from baby love. I never used baby oil with either of my kids. I just I don't like the way it feels, so I just never used it. Um antibacterial moist wipes. You can get a pack of 16 or a pack of 20 for the same price. They do that all the time. They have, they have different size packages for the same price. I guess it just depends on what they've got. way back there hand sanitizer it's not baby stuff but it's here so kind of feel bad just leaving it then we have germex this green stuff is from assured it's and it's all mixed up oof boy I have a hard time reaching that I think I'm done school shopping for now until they get into school and then you get these supplementary lists of things that you need to buy which happens pretty much every year oh yeah you're not done you'll get another list from their teachers <laughs> of stuff it's like oh but wait there's more I'm gonna move some of this down here like that just clear a few of them out Oh, blessed peace and quiet. That's beautiful. These are hard to get to as well. Okay. Down here we have some more Pampers travel wipes. They're too big for the box. That's the problem. Maybe they're supposed to sit in there some other way, but I'll put them in there like that. 
It says Pampers baby wipes. And we have flushable toddler wipes. Don't flush your toddler. That's just hateful. Your toddler is not flushable. Alright. Um, uh -oh. We have several different types down here. This could be a problem. Oh, wait. I see. Hushables. And these are the sensitive ones. Oh, they're all mixed up. That figures. It's the Dollar Tree. We don't get too picky around here. They don't, they don't care. Let's see. What are these? More Hushables, but they're orange for some reason. Cookie Monster on them. I don't know what these are. The purple one. I don't, I don't know. I'm going to put it right there. It doesn't matter. Okay, well, I think I've done about all I can do over here, but I wanted to show you something really quick before we go. Um, it has nothing to do with baby stuff, but I was in here and I wanted to show you, but first, let's admire this pretty shelf. Can we just admire that? That's beautiful. Come over here. I want to show you something. I'm going to take you over to the nail polish. I found the coolest dadgum squeak toy every time I come in here. Check it out. They have some more Kiss Gel nail polish. And it's really pretty. That, oh, excuse me. Okay, I, I didn't go kill the boy or anything. I just waited. Here's a pretty one. This is a burgundy color. It's called, it's, it's called Falling. And my phone is not wanting to focus on anything. But it's called Falling, and it's a really pretty burgundy. And they have one that's midnight blue that's called That Moment. That is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Woo, nice. I'm going to get those two. And then they have a pink that I really like. It's called Paradise. I want that one. Um, and they also have a pale... Uh, Pale orange. This is peach sorbet. And foliage we've seen before. This one I'm not... This one I don't like so much. It's a pale yellow. It's called Mellowy. I don't like that. And they have a light blue. This is Mint Sky. That's not bad. They're just kind of randomly thrown in here. Here's, here's one. Pit-a-pat. Oh, we've seen that one. And Silence. I want to paint the whole store in that one. Oh, and that's another falling. That is beautiful. I love that color. But yeah, I'm going to grab these three right here. These are going home with me. I'm buying these today. These are really pretty. I had to come back over here. It was There were about 40 people over there all of a sudden. But anyway, I'm going to get my nail polish. Thank you so much for coming to see this. And let's go organize another store. Hey, now we're in another Dollar Tree, and this baby section is like this big. Seriously, and it's back near the freezer, so you're going to hear the compressor. I do apologize. It's the same stuff as the one we just left. See, I am well blessed with Dollar Trees in my area. They are everywhere. So it's, it's really not a problem. This one is kind of funny. I, I am in a, I am out of town today because okay I mailed some nail polish to a subscriber in the Netherlands and um, was told that no sorry I know they told you you could mail nail polish to the Netherlands but you actually can't so two months after I mailed it the package came back and then it it has taken me two weeks to find out what I needed to do to get my money back. I had to go back to the post office where I mailed it from. That post office was about 70 miles away from my house. I said, are you serious? I have to go back to the same post office where I mailed it? Yes, ma'am. You have to go there to get your money back. I said, but I don't have any reason to go down there. 
I was just, I was on my way somewhere. I was traveling through and I stopped in that post office and mailed it. It's nowhere near me. They said, well, we're sorry, but you have to go back to the one where you mailed it. Anyway, I took today to travel back 70 miles down to the post office, which I'm still ill about. We have three kinds of petroleum jelly. Huh. Cocoa butter, regular, and scented or something. So anyway, I figured I would make the trip worthwhile. I might as well try to make the best of it. So um, I've just hit up a few Dollar Trees on my way. And we stopped and organized nail polish too in one of the, in a Walmart nearby. I thought, well, at least the trip wasn't, you know, a complete waste of time. <laughs> I found, I got, I did get my money back. Now I'm going to go to the UPS store and see if I can send it that way. Even though it's going to cost twice as much. It was $37.50 to send it postal service, but then that didn't work because then they sent it back to me. I don't know where it was for two months, but, uh, yeah, anyway, I have the package and I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it mailed. One way or another, she's gonna get her nail polish. It has become like a personal goal of mine now. Look at these cute little things of baby oil. Gosh, there's some way back there. I can't even reach it too well. Let's see. Oh my. Boy, they are way back there. I'll just pull them over a little bit. Straighten them a tad. So I've spent my whole day on the road for the most part. And I'm also hitting up all the Dollar Generals because I'm looking for something called Sticky Eyes that I want to make a video with. I found some Sticky Eyes at one Dollar General when we were in there straightening the dollar aisle. Oops, that lid's janky. This just needs to be, it's the same color as my nail polish. There we go. I want to find the sticky eyes in different colors. I have some purple ones and yellow, but I want to find, I know they have them in other colors, but I've been checking every Dollar General that I passed, but most of them don't have them out yet. They haven't set up all their Halloween stuff yet. Slackers. I'm kidding. Size three diapers. Two little lonely packs of Pampers wipes. Down here we have, oh, this store has the little Huggies packs. Those are pretty. And Cookie Monster wipes. More Huggies wipes down there. I'm shifting them up here. toddlers. Don't, don't do that. I even have Huggies diapers in here. Huh. Alright. Elmo shampoo. Why does he have to be on everything? Ugh. There's some creamy cocoa butter back there. I'm trying to make some room for it. I'll move all this Elmo junk out of the way first. These are hard to reach back here. That's okay. And then see we have this creamy cocoa butter. We can easily make some room for that. We're going to move the creamy petroleum jelly over a bit. Right here. And then see you just take the cocoa butter. Bring it up. Like so. Oh, there's more. Hold on. 
Oops, it fell over. There. There we go. Oh, look at that. Maybe oil. Maybe bath. This is made by Angel of Mine. This is 15 ounces of baby bath. And then we also have diaper rash cream, baby room air freshener. I never sprayed anything in my kids' rooms. Okay. Wipes. All right. And then you look over here, and well, I mean, it's just control chaos over here. I mean, there's only so much you can do. Some lime green hangers. They go there. Look at the little pillows with dingle balls on them. Look. These dingle balls. Rainbow dingle balls. Or you can get plain white or multicolor. You could get a pom-pom pillow with dingle balls for a dollar. Here is a baby hat. How cute is that? Look at the little baby hats. Oh, these are adorable. <laughs> little hats. Oh my gosh. Baby booties. They look like little shoes. So sweet. It's a perfect day. They have all their bibs on one hanger there. And see, it butts right up to stuff like scarves and bedroom shoes. I know it says slippers, but down here a lot of people call them bedroom shoes. When I was growing up, my mom always called these things right here bedroom shoes. That's what that is. Tomato, tomato, it doesn't matter. You can get a little plate. Little microfiber hand towels. It's all mixed up with this other poofy stuff down here. Oh, look at the little shark. That's adorable. And here they have the fleece baby blankets just hanging on this little strip. Those are cute. That's awesome. Okay, well that was super fast. Check it out. Look, we did it. Oh, yeah. There's some more nail polish I want to show you. <laughs> Come here. This is so pretty too. I'm gonna get it. I found I found some more that I like. I want to show you, and I'm gonna get them. They had a little section of it right here. They have Express. I think most of these we've already seen. They're just in here every which way. There's Falling, which I already bought, and I already bought Paradise. I'm getting these two right here. This purple, what, isn't that pretty? That is called Manicorn, and they also have a bright yellow, which I really like. That is called My Color. So I'm going to take those home with me. Let me fix this real quick. And we have some kiss nails. This blue is okay, but I don't know. I really like this bright yellow. But if you have a dollar a dollar tree near you, you might wanna you might want to check it out because they at least here, they've just recently gotten in a bunch of new uh, kiss colors. Oh, they have some red one up here too. Um, sometimes when they discontinue different colors. They put them in Dollar Tree and you can find them. That one's cool. It's called Hollow Hologasm. Seriously? It's not bad. There's a sparkly one behind it. Look at that. Like a silver and a gold. Oh, this pink one's pretty. That's nice. And they're all a dollar, so. Yeah. So I'm gonna get these and we'll go check out another Dollar Tree. Hey, we are in our third and final Dollar Tree in the baby section, and it's on that side and this side. At first, I thought there wasn't much because I just saw what was over there. We have the cute little spoons, infant flatware. Hello, it goes there. 
baby oil gel. There. There's one way over there. Yeah, at first, all I saw was this little blurb of stuff, and I thought I thought they didn't have any at all. I thought, Lord, this isn't going to take long. <laughs> take me about two minutes. Here's the random infant flatware. I guess it's all green and clear and blue. It looks like it. Yeah. Stay there. Baby oil. I can't get away from the squeaky toys. They, I tell you, <laughs> it doesn't matter which one I go to. Okay, that's ridiculous. Stop. Look at all that baby oil. How big is that? Six and a half ounces. I never, I never did use this with my kids though. I didn't really see a point. Now I did use baby lotion, but I never used baby oil. When I was little, I thought it was made out of babies. <laughs> I was young. I didn't say I was smart. <laughs> Here's this um, little Elmo bottle. This is full though. That's why. Let's put them down here so they're at least in the same general vicinity. We even have a little baby cookie monster. <laughs> How cute is that? It is really crowded in here. I have no idea why. It's like a convention of people. There, I'm just in a part of town where it is just, there are tons of people here. Tons of people. Little silicone pacifiers. What is this? Oh, look, it's a, a pacifier case. That's pretty cool. I haven't seen those. Maybe they were at the other Dollar Trees and I just didn't notice. A little brush and comb set. That's adorable. I still want to know why they have to put Elmo on everything. I'm going to go jerk a knot in that youngin' in a minute. Little wipes. Baby wash. Oh, for heaven's sake. Okay. I apologize for the squeaker. These look different. They're, so, they're all 10 ounces, though. I don't know. Look at that. There we go. Baby lotion. Creamy petroleum jelly. Ba um, three ounces. Skin softener. Okay. He, uh, the kid that had the squeaker, set it down on a shelf. I moved it. I moved it up to a higher shelf. I didn't take it away from him. He set it down and was talking to his brother or somebody and I just uh, I just moved it. Let's see. Look at this. Let's see here. I love the fact that you can get stuff like this here. I really do. Now this is cocoa butter. Well, it's cocoa butter scent. It doesn't say it actually has cocoa butter in it. It only says cocoa butter scent, so there's probably not any cocoa butter in there. I'll put the squeaker back before I go if he was actually going to buy it. Now, these are all three, no, 100 grams, 3.53 ounces. Cocoa butter. And then we have regular. I have a nice little brown lid on them. Gosh, I can smell the cocoa butter. It's strong. And then we have, this is baby, baby soft scent. Here are some little uh, things. What are these? Little, look at these tiny washcloths. You get four of them in here. They're so little. So cute. Here's another one of those pacifier cases. There. Oh, there's more infant flatware over here. And then we have random ribbon. I don't know. That, that, doesn't, that doesn't belong here at all. I'm going to put it in purgatory. And we have those cute little baby hats. Look at these. Oh, they're so precious. They are so cute. They're all a little bit different. 
These are so sweet. Oh my gosh. I don't have any babies to buy for. And no, I don't want one. I, mm -mm. No. Let me, let me recall one massive blowout and that's enough to remove any desire I have to go through that again. No. Let's see. This is that diaper rash cream stuff. What's in this? Let me see. It's always just zinc. 40% zinc oxide. That's all it is. I didn't know. I hadn't looked at it before. And here we have just the regular petroleum jelly. It's not scented. Let me just do two rows of that. There. And then we have the baby soft scent with the green lid and the frog on it. Oops. Why is there a frog on it? This is by Baby Love. This one is by Personal Care. And the, the cocoa butter is also by Personal Care. Yeah. I don't think there's any difference except for the scent. They're getting there. Okay, and down here we have baby shampoo with Elmo on it. It's hard to reach those way back there, so I'm basically I'm trying to get as many as I can. Some of them are turned backwards. Let's see. Here's that baby room freshener. I just, I mean, I'm not, I'm not harvest or anything. I don't think there's a need to spray anything in their room, you know? There's one that fell down there. Can I reach it? Yes, I can. There. And we have baby powder. Cornstarch baby powder. It's not that talc stuff. Oh, it's way back there, isn't it? That's a nine ounce container from Angel of Mine. Probably condense that all the way down. Mm, no. There we go. And then we have baby lotion from Angel of Mine. Let me slide these over a tad. This is 15 ounces. Okay. Okay. Ooh, these are hard to reach. Oh, here they have hand and face wipes. Now, baby bath from Angel of Mine. Creamy baby oil. Oh, they have this lavender baby shampoo here. Ooh, I don't know. Can I get, yeah, I can get two up here. Two rows of that. They didn't have this lavender baby shampoo with the other two. Yeah, I'm lucky in that we have a ton of Dollar Trees in this area. They're everywhere around here. Okay, baby wipes. This 72, these are sensitive. Mm -hmm. They even have these little hand and face wipes. 25 of those. I'd just assume buy a package of these. Let's see, these are, um, let's go there. So you can get 72 of those. Of course, they don't come in the little canister. But does it really matter? 
and you can get Huggies uh, fragrance free wipes 24 of those for a dollar I don't know if they're any better I have no idea little flushable wipes there something sticky on my hand yeah this is the same plastic flatware there's just more of it they have these cute little plates these <laughs> adorable plates okay well that takes care of this section for the most part doesn't it look pretty I think it looks great it looks good now we'll come over here and there's another hot mess oh look they have little Kleenex tissues with messages on them believe in yourself summon your strength well I do that every time I sneeze it's, it's scary when I sneeze it's so loud it's like the most AS, un asmr -ish thing you ever heard or you can get a little pack, pack of the puffs plus lotion and then they have these ready wipes antibacterial hand wipes 50 of them but that's no that's different because in there they have the the assured and that's 60 wipes but these don't fit anywhere <laughs> here's some more of the Kleenex tissues they don't stand up worth a darn I think they all say the same stuff though summon your strength find your find your fearless I don't need a pep talk from my Kleenex usually I'm just needing to blow my nose but thank you oh these don't Oh, these don't want to do anything, do they? Look. It's, they're, they're just tall enough that they don't work too well in this format. They got that top shelf down too far for it to work. But we also have antibacterial travel wipes. 30 total wipes in three 10-count packs. That's cool. These are from Assured. They make a lot of the OTC stuff that we organize in here. Although, I bought some of these one time and half of them were dried out. Like, they were in the individual packs and they were already dried out. Yeah, it was very unfortunate. They were, they were no good. They were bone dry. There's the squeaker. I'll put it back over. He laid it right there and I just, I just moved it. He laid it down, and he never did come back for it. He just walked off. It wasn't like he was going to buy it. He was just running around squeaking it. Oh, there's the ready wipes right in front of me. Right there. And these are hard to reach because they're way up there. And then we have Puffs Tissues box of... That's a 96... They're not... They don't have lotion in them. 96 two-ply tissues. These are like the ones I bought to send to school. Oh, they're hard to reach. I'm just going to do them like that. There. Look at that. That's better. There now. Oh, lovely. What do we have down here? This. What is this? These are crafting beads. They don't. They go to purgatory with the ribbon. We have our little diaper disposal bags and socks. Oh, wait. These diapers are different sizes, but they're all mixed up. What is this? Look at this cute little... What is this? A squirter friend. It's a squirter friend that do not go there. That... Mm -mm. Don't say it. Don't go Beavis and Butthead on me. Don't say I do have a friend. Don't. Just don't. Hang them up. It's Cookie Monster. Don't get nasty. Look at these cute little, look at these cute little socks. Oh my gosh, they have little cats on them. This is a two-pack of socks. All oh, these have little clouds and rainbows. Those are adorable. I'm going to put them right there. Okay, now they have diapers here in a size six and a five and a three. They're all mixed up. And there's nothing I can do about that. Oh, have some Thomas tissues. They don't, they don't go there, but I'm going to put them there. And they have these cute little bath puppets. These are adorable. Little frogs and sharks and whatnot. Here's a... Oh, it's um, 
A microfiber hand towel with a frog on it. That's cute, but I don't... Here's an empty peg. I'm just going to put them up there. I don't know. Baby bottles, another bath puppet. More. Oh, here's one with, it's like a little duck. And another frog. His little bath puppets are adorable. <laughs> a little shark. That's cute. Let's see. Oh, look at the little bandana bibs. These are so precious. They have these little different patterns of um, fabric. Look at that. It's like a, the ocean with a little fish in it. Baby bottle brushes. Oh my goodness. I love these little fleece baby blankets. This one's cute. Oh. My younger son, I had several of these with him because a cold crib, like if the if the if the crib sheet was cold, he would just holler. And here's a five ounce bottle. Everything has Elmo on it. A size five diapers. That's a six. Five. Yeah, they're all mixed up. I can't help that. There's only so much I can do about it. Size three over here. Well, three, six, and five. That's lovely. They have so many of these little cookie monster things. They're overflowing everywhere. Five and another five. And a six and a cold pack. They have these little cold packs that you can put in the freezer. And some more socks right there. Cool dude and wild kid. Well, is he cool or is he wild? Don't confuse them. And another cold pack. You can even get little wipes, travel cases. They don't come with any wipes. You have to get those separately. Okay, and we have some random tissues. They don't go here, but I'm going to leave them right where they are. These are some of the Elmo regular baby wipes. There's one Huggies diaper pack. 72 wipes. I have a bunch of these. Look at that. Wow. What's this? Oh, here's some more of these. These are um, the Hushables. Oh, they have shea butter in them. That's cool. I don't think the other ones do. Some more Kleenex packs. Oh, there's the Thomas stuff. Right there. I'm going to move them up here. I am. I'm putting them up here. You know... If you ever watched Thomas or read any of those books, so many of the trains on that island were complete jerks, and Thomas was is a total brat. All he does is have temper tantrums and stomp around the island of Sodor. That's all he does. He has his little fit, and he goes off and causes problems. I mean, it's, he is such a brat. I used to say, I used to critique Thomas when I was reading those books to my son. He didn't appreciate it. I said, but he's a brat. I'm sorry. Everybody on the island of Sodor has some kind of problem. <laughs> like, they need some therapy or something. They have lots of tissues. Look at all the tissues. Oh, they have ice packs. The hot and cold. This has nothing to do with babies. It's just over here. They have some Barbie tissues, Jurassic World tissues, baby stuff, little baby bath pack. Ooh, I don't know what to do with this. You can't do anything with it. It's one thing of puffs. There. There's a squishy thing right there, but I don't want to touch it. So it looks like a chicken's foot or something. I'm not. I'm not touching that. That goes beyond my willingness to clean up a store that I don't work in. I mean, I can only go so far. There's an eight pack. Well, that's the other kind. Okay. That's 
cool. Alright. Well, I think that's about all I'm going to be able to do here. So, we kind of straighten this. We have a little Thomas tissues. One Jurassic World pack of tissues. The Kleenex tissues. Yes, yeah, alright. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Look at that. Look how pretty that looks. Thank you for coming with me to $3 Trees. I will see you again really soon.